Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome back to The Farthest Frontier, one of the most difficult survival city games out there at the moment, besides like Frostpunk, I think, right? But we're doing pretty well here. We just harvested our first batch of crops for the season. So we finished our leeks off, and I can see here I immediately jumped up to 24 months worth of food, but I'm going to lose 18 months of storage from that. So I can only assume that they're not, that it's all here. We can say I've got a bunch of greens here, so leeks count as greens. But I can't do anything with them, which is quite unfortunate. So it reduces the rate of spoilage, but I'm going to lose 14 months of food in the next 12 months. So it's not the worst thing to happen, obviously. Like, probably the majority of that will expire within 12 months, I would assume, unless the spoilage rate kind of changes per item. I don't know if it, um, oops, not that. I don't know if it tells me that here or not, but it is what it is. But we got a new villager born, and we also got some new immigrants coming in. So awesome stuff here. This farm is obviously going to help us have a surplus of food, which would be great for getting us new villagers, because that's what we really need at the moment is just some more people to help out. So now with those four, you can see our laborers jumped up to nine, which is perfect. I'm going to add another SAR right here, get those up to two. I get our forger back on. It was the winter. It's, it's heading into winter, so it's not that needed. So actually, I'll toss them down for now, but we'll make sure to put them back up. And then we also have a guard going. So while we were away, nothing too crazy has happened. Look at that stack of gold, baby. Woo, sheesh. Uh, I built a Fletcher over here. You can see I made him oriented this way so we can put something in between here if we must. And with this, I do want to get some bows and arrows produced. I don't know if I can select what to produce. Oh, here we go. So production ratio. So like... 20 arrows per one bow or maybe I make like 50 like a hundred arrows in one bow it's probably not bad work rate 99 percent 100 percent so we'll see how that goes maybe I can even just get like a couple extra bows in here I don't know if this is like a monthly basis or not but we'll go off of that and just kind of see what's going on here so we can see uh we uh spoiled 37 berries here that's okay I don't know why that's still telling me I lost some crops to wildlife they're lying to me they're jerks going to increase the sand over here just so when we have the turnips coming in next season we get that and the reason i'm doing the crops like you know the weeding here seeing how much food we got it was perfect because we got a crap ton of food but we can't keep it all so it looks like one decent food will be good at least for the moment so i do want to use that time when it's still okay to get the weeding kind of under control so the other thing is we've got our hunt we got our hunter's cabin out here. Obviously, they're all out here by themselves. They just gotta they take care of a lot of their basic needs at the moment. So why don't we help them out a bit by building a road here? So let me start here. And can I like uh, I was like hoping we could connect over here, but I was over the maximum size. So what if we just kinda bring ourselves to like here? And then I connected in here. That's kind of neat looking. It's not like the best angle though I think maybe like here to here is better now a little bit more I like angles I kind of I was wondering if I could like swap the angles to like make them sharper or not but it doesn't really seem that way but that'll be good so we got a nice little path over here this will start our maybe potentially like a second village out this way because we do have a lot going on but for now this is just what we have to do so we can get some extra deer because we have nothing else besides that. So we'll get these guys taken care of. We've got some roads built for the winter. What is happening here? It's like there's a bunch of turnips growing. Estimated yield. Are there turnips in here? Are you turnips? Those are probably weeds, right? Those have to be weeds. Four new villagers. Awesome. And a new villager born awesome. So our fertility is doing great. We're one away from being able to level up our town hall, which is absolutely what we're looking to do. So, and then I'm going to need some planks. So we've got a lot more people now. So why don't we add our, let's go to our people management screen here. I want to top this off, get our forger back, obviously. And we've got nine extra laborers. So that's awesome. So we're doing well again, making a good comeback. Proud of all of you. Yearly taxes collected. And I'm assuming a market doesn't have traders coming to it. So there's got to be like a trading post because I know there's trading in the game. See, work camp, clay pit, and iron mine. So these are the mines that go on top of these things. So that's good to know. I love that kind of style, a sand pit. 
An apiary. Oh, keep beehives, which villagers can harvest for honey. Uh, it, this building is an is upgraded from a lower tier structure. Okay. Let's see. Then we got the. Ooh, we can do pottery. So we might specialize in pottery for a bit. Make some, make some good ware. Candle shops. Soap shops. The kiln. Okay. I kind of figured it'd be in here, but no amenities and services. So healer's house. Ah, trading post. Here we go. So a building where goods are stocked to sell and trade with merchanting or visiting merchants. Okay. That's what I was looking for. So we'll get those very shortly. Uh, housing is still good. I think I'm going to plop down a couple more just to be prepared now. Um, this is all full up. I want to use all of this for like bushes and stuff. So I don't want to fill that land. But I do want to grab... Oops. Not that button. It doesn't look like it can fit anything in here, which is fine. So why don't we just build a hut right here? Desirability is still 11. What about like over here? Desirability 12%. Next to the farms, but it's not terrible, I guess, right? That must be the weeding from the winter season, I'm assuming. Right, I'll plop one of these bad boys down here. Yep. Just going to do that, and I'm going to do two of them. Put a little space in between them there. Get two huts ready to go so we can make sure we can get more people because we got to have the space so we can get them. We definitely have the food, so we've probably lost some more food to spoilage. So we're going to get some turnips coming in this year. Wow, that's already almost done. Wow, that's super quick. I don't think they're there. Something tells me there's no turnips in there. Looks doesn't look very turnipy to me. That's okay. With that, so five deer. So how are these guys up to? Items produced last year. So we are getting meat, we're getting pelts, and we're getting tallow. That's awesome. So now with the meat, we should be getting seeing some more production. Yeah, items produced last year. We're getting some more smoked meat. Production ratio. Like probably one to one makes sense, right? Maybe two to one. Yeah, let's two to one. That's probably right. It doesn't, I don't think we need to have it say like 10, right? Like it's a ratio. So a two to one ratio makes sense. Berries are fine. We only have eight. So I feel like something, yeah, we don't have any turnips. What the hell? Building is on fire. I don't know what we can do about that. I don't, we don't have like firemen or anything. So are people just like getting water? Oh, hell yeah, people. Hold on. Let me. Let's get a view of this. I like how they're all running into the fire. Go, people, go. What? Well done, everybody. Well freaking done. You saved the house. I don't know what these idiots were up, were up to, but they've got 27 waste in the house, so... These guys have no food, no water, their firewood, no medicine. You guys are living large. So they we lost some fish. We lost some fish. 306 fish in there. We got a lot of fish in there. We got the meats going now too. Now we're de-weeding something. I don't know what happened with this. But maybe I should weed in the beginning because I feel like... Something happened to our crops here. Let's see. Another building is on fire. What is going on today? Like, why are all the buildings on fire? It's a heat wave or something? Like, Jesus, people. It's a brand new house. Oh, whoa. Pause this. I think they're fine. I also want to know why I can't see health again. It must be one of the buttons I hit there. Oh, no, you're not fine. Run over here quick. Good job, people. Woo! Sheesh, she almost died. If I didn't catch that in time, my God, we would have been screwed. Okay, that's perfect. We're just going to leave it like that. That looks great. Okay, cool. 
So let's get this upgrade. Now we're up to 32 people. Let's upgrade. Town center is ready to upgrade. What does this say? Working, transferring goods, combat, idle, upgrade. Wow, look at that scaffolding. Looks good. I still don't really know what to do with this thing. There's stuff and things in it, but like, I, can't, I don't, like, what does he do? I don't know what to do with it, honestly. It's all sorts of stuff in it. Like, I could, like, be like, no storage, like, just close them all out, but there's got to be a reason for it. So there's a place to store goods. Like, I could probably move stuff from it from to to fro pretty fast, but I don't think it's necessary. Whatever, he's just going to kind of survive in here. He'll just kind of hang out. You know what? You are going to be the staple of the marketplace. Right here. You're going to live over here. Move this. Boop. Go hang out down there. You'll look great, I'm sure. All right, so previous. So fertility, minus 59. Weed level, minus 120. Rockiness, 9. So we got a total yield of 214. All right, we do got him. It was late. All right, it was super late. Not sure why. I have to talk to our farmers about that. Can't be having that nonsense. Keep, we got a schedule to keep here, people. We got a schedule. Now, while this is building, we'll get some new updates here. What kind of other decorations can we get? A small park. That's a lot of gold. Medium park's probably not a bad idea, like right here. Desirability, almost 30% on some of these places. Bam. Plop that park down. I'll use 20 gold for that. Why not? All right, cool. So we got the new and upgraded house. So requirement, 25 homesteads. We'll need a school, a trading post, and 125 people. We're going to need to figure out how to get clay. Well, we know how to get clay. It's not going to be hard. So let's check out the new amenities first. So we got the healer's house. I think I want to get the trading post because we're going to have a ton of excess food. So I think trying to sell some of this food will be good. Desirability is neutral, so I don't need this near anything. So why don't we just keep it next to my market for uh, sanity's sake? Actually, we can kind of like put it on a corner and like get so many things and stuff happening here, huh? What if we just bring you like up here, right? Plop it here. Something like this, maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure where I want it. How about... Why is... Oh, it's obstructed by the road. I was like, why can't I do it here? I'm going to put it here, like this. And then I want to build some roads around it. cancel that try this again let me go this way first okay 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 and then we'll go this way beautiful there we go get that market in get everything working over there so we're getting some de weeding done the weed levels are going down very nicely i wish it kind of told me the percentage drop but that's okay So if I do something like this, and I can add that in here. Let's get another D-weed in there. Just right there, and then we'll do leaks. I love it. That'll help us out a bit, quite a bit, I'm sure. So I've got 12 months of food. We definitely have plenty of food to make it through the winter again. Look at all that stuff. I definitely want to be selling some of this. We got way too much food. Educated 9%. I have educated people. Can I see their education levels here? Let's see. Town info, resources, villager happiness. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are like village professions. Town info, maybe. No. Eh, maybe I'll find it at some point. Would like to see everyone's like education levels. All right. 
So that's good. Oh, fertility is F, by the way. If you press F, it brings up the fertility of the land. This is some nice land. We might have to, like, take all this here and do um, all farms in this area here. Three new villagers, two new ones born. That's amazing. We're looking absolutely fantastic here. So work rate is 83%. We're doing good. How is my... Let me look at my storages here. So R is my storage. Got some baskets. Okay, I've got seven pelts. So you know what I want to do next here? Let's go down to resources, I think. I want to build a cobbler. So this produces shoes, and I can only assume that's going to make us move faster, right? Let's plop the cobbler down. He's going to hang out by these guys. He, he lives near the farm, just having a good time. I want to make sure this kind of fits the road right. I like this. Cobbler's on the way out of town. Still near the storages and stuff. And then let's start thinking about what other items I'm going to need. So like an apiary, right? Like, oh, honey bonus is 70%, 70. What's the bonuses based off of? Probably just fertility, maybe. Yeah, it might just be fertility. I do want an apiary, so I'm going to plop it. It doesn't help with desirability, though, which is a damn shame. Got all this space here, too. 76% actually. That's kind of like the best way, huh? I'll put one of these down here. I'll kind of put it in the backyard here, just surrounded by the bushes. I think that'll just look good. Why do we have, like, no planks? Firewood, the saw house is good. You know, probably need to get some people cutting trees down again. So why don't we work on clearing out this land here like that. Thicket. Let me hit bushes. That must be like these things here. Yeah, that's these. Okay. I wasn't sure if that meant like our berry bushes or whatnot. It kind of looks like it though, huh? We'll see. No, I want to not do this one. Can I like tell you guys not to harvest this? Remove as target. Remove as target. Oh, it says like harvest resource. So it's probably not a bad thing. We'll see. I want to make sure they're not, like, destroying it. Because I know in games you usually can destroy these kind of things. So that's, like, something I absolutely want to make sure to avoid. So this one's desirability is 30. But it only has one food type, which is berries. Which I'm concerned about because why don't they have, like, smoked fish, smoked meat? Like, we have so many options, but they only have some berries in the house they don't have any herbs do I have herbs probably do yeah we've got plenty of herbs all the herbs plenty of herbs too many herbs all right it's enough of that graveyard looks fine all right we just gotta let's speed this up we just gotta wait for a little production here I think and maybe figure out what I want to do next so we got the new year going. We got our taxes collected. Everything's looking good. Let's take a peek at Ski at the trading post. You see I'm starting a new little sublet village down here. You know, fishing lifestyles, the fishing shanty. So it looks like I could transfer some items here and maybe sell some smoked fish, right? My inventory, the trader's inventory, buy, sell. Oops. So I'm not sure how this works. Like, maybe I need to have some of the food in here in order to buy and sell it. Well, like, obviously I would have to do that, but I would want to see the price first. But I guess that's not in the card. So why don't I just hit, like, transfer items to... Oh, here... Oh, oh, you know what? There was no one here. Someone just spawned in. Okay. So in 76 days, Atka the Iron Clan will be departing. So, for instance, I, they are going to buy if I wanted to do, so they just have like a select stock. Okay, so they're not going to take everything. 
And I only have a few things. Like, I could sell a few baskets. I could sell some planks. We could sell tools, but that sounds like a foolish idea. Some swords. So why don't I transfer, like, five baskets over? To 133 baskets. Confirm. Do five of these. And then we'll sell it to them. And then we can obviously buy these things. So, like, I could buy coal and iron ore weapons, some armor and shields. So that's what they got going on. Probably probably a bad idea to build so close. I'm probably going to have to put a sand pit on this thing, right? Oh well. We'll get we'll cross that road in a bit. It's getting close though, but that's for sure. Let's see. So for like the resources, like an apiary, I've got that potter's building, a weaver. We don't have flax. Candle shop. We do have tallow. Could put that on the menu. All right, so a windmill is where millers grind wheat into flour to be used in baking. So why don't I grab a windmill and that, yeah, that shoots desirability down. That's for sure. But I could build it over here. I kind of wish I had a high vantage point because usually things like that, like windmills, like work well up in the sky. But we have like zero elevation. There's no mountains. I don't know if the, the well, they're called the lowlands, I think. I don't know if they're all like this or if it's just my map, but that's okay. So I'll put, um, no, I'll put a windmill here. Put a windmill there. Let's go to storages. Let's get a granary. Let's see. Right next to it. Get the granary here as well. And let's see. We'll change this out. So let's clear this. Clear that. Clear this. And we'll get ready for a nice harvest. So maybe the weed levels are decent. They're not great but they're not terrible either you know what? actually we could probably clear that out and do and do wheat up here let's do that let's get a wheat batch in here and then i'm gonna clear out the leaks and fertility is going down so why don't we do a maintenance gear here can't do full maintenance but i could do something like this we grab some peas and then some clover. Oh, that's perfect. Because clover will help with the fertility a lot. So we'll do peas, weed, clover, wheat. And I think we'll just uh, we'll weed one more time. I'm going to try and get this weed level down quite a bit. While food's not the biggest uh, hindrance to our plans. Because if you're loving Farthest Frontier, can't say it enough. Make sure you are hitting that like button down below. It tells me so much. As well as helps the YouTube gods know that uh, people want to watch this. So... All right, and down here, I put a well so that this is all taken care of. And these guys are still in the sphere of influence of our market here. So we don't have to worry about that too much. I probably do want to start going with some other means of transportation here. Let me close this out so I can probably sell these. Merchant is buying this. Yes. So like, does that mean like because it's here, they're going to buy it? No, I click this. Okay, so I click that and then I sell. And then I'll get 55 gold. Perfect. Okay. That's what I wanted to see. I want to know why my my planks are just always abysmal. Let's add a fourth slot here for one. Get you guys working hard for once in your day. And we've got tons of wood, so there's no excuse for it, really. And why don't we get... The next farm's going. We can probably rip these out because they're kind of in the way, right? So let's go food production farms. I'm gonna I'm gonna piggyback off of this here, so because we've got a fence there, right? I think I want to get a three by. Is that this size? Yeah, that's this size right here. I can't, it's so hard to see because the window's in my way. It's this. Yeah, because a 10 by five makes it two people where 
So and I feel like that's a probably a pretty good place to be in. Okay, those are good. I've got 13 people, so that's great as well. Let's also get in here. Let's build some walls. Palisades. We'll just get some nice basic walls in here. Thinking do this all the way across. And then go down. Honestly, don't really need that in between here, huh? But I want to get that degree of separation just to make it look like they're separate fields. Do that. And then I'll make this entrance right here, maybe. So plop that here. And then let's go back to build. We'll grab a gate. Perfect. All right. That's good. Yeah, I'm still wondering what this pit's about. Maybe that's the sand pit for like how I, how we like we can add sand and clay to it. Not sure, not sure honestly. All right, we've got those going. That'll take up quite a bit of our labor, which is okay. I want to see, do we have any other blueberry bushes yet? Yes, we do. Let's grab this. Found some blueberry bushes. Bring this over here as well. These blueberries, yes. Excellent. So this will give our gatherers some extra little bits to be doing. That's all like herbs and patches. Excellent. Surround the apiary. I don't know if it helps, but I think it's just going to make it look nice overall anyways. So we'll be able to get some honey. I don't know what we do. Wax is probably going to be used for candles. Um, but the honey, I don't know if it'll be for baking at some point down the line, but either way, they might be good materials for sale at some point. Looks like they just left. That's awesome. Love seeing you. Get out of my town. See ya. All right. Again with these planks, bro. All right. I thought a great way to kind of round this up would be to finish off our baking extravaganza that we're kind of getting ready for this season. So we need the bakery, right? Because we've got the windmill. It's almost ready. It's getting there. We need some more planks, it seems. And I need, oh, I need heavy tools. Looks like I got to make sure I buy those. Didn't realize I needed that for something so that I thought was pretty early. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, heavy tools right there. Says it. Let's build a bakery. So this is going to increase desirability because who the hell doesn't want to live next to a bakery? Except for maybe me, only because it'll make me a very large man. But let's be honest, I want it. Give me that bakery. So we're going to build a bakery here. Increase the desirability of the land quite a bit. So it'll be nice. I think I'm going to plop it facing this way just because it's... uh. It's nice and skinny, and so it gives me some room. You can see I moved the storage that was here up here, just getting them all more centralized. And I probably want to build another watchtower eventually. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure raids are enabled, so... I haven't seen any. I don't know if they just don't start coming until like 10, 20, 30 years later, but which is... It's nice. I appreciate that. Absolutely appreciate that. So now we've got a bakery coming in pretty decently. We could be working on a barn next, but I'm going to hold off on that just because it's going to require a lot of planks. Obviously, we have like a plank deficit right now. And then the arborist. Now, building that employs an arborist. That they'll work at this building, maintain, and harvest fruit trees nearby. So I don't have any fruit trees unless I can plant some. I don't, these aren't fruit trees, so I wonder if they come with it. We'll have to take a look at those. I'm interested, though. I love uh, having fruit trees, so... It's always very nice. We probably should get a healer's house, but I'm pretty sure you probably need to be educated for something like this. And that probably means we need to have a school. So schools are on the menu means we need clay, which means I need to get some of these things down here. Oh, these are locked. So I need to get a, oh, we need a wagon shop, right? All right, let's work on that then. Let's get a wagon shop and that'll round out the day perfectly. So we got a wagon shop. Uh, they're manufactured. They can be placed increasing efficiency. Yep, we'll get this. So, obviously, these are quite neutral. I don't know how close to town we really need these things, but maybe I'll do the wagon shop just over here. It's kind of like centralized. To, no, maybe not near the townspeople. Maybe I should have these just up here. Yeah, let's put it over here. 
one here just in case we need some extra. Actually, I'll plop him right next to this and I'll put my dirt road down here. There we go. That's perfect. So now we'll get that wagon shop going. Is there anything else I'm missing in the storage? We've got a wagon shop, a granary, a cooper. Oh, we can make barrels. We don't have iron yet, so we'll get there in a vault that'll a secure repository. We'll worry about that later. We don't have iron, obviously, so it's not a big deal at the moment. We'll just work our way towards that. You can see I brought a few more berry bushes over that I found. They were um, up here. That's where these berry bushes were. So we've got some hawthorns all out here. I think I got them all. We don't have a lot of berry bushes, but, you know, it's still better than nothing. And we can always eventually get into more preservations, I think. Let's see. Pre preservationist building. Yeah, right here. So when we get to the next tier, it will be a little while, but we can start preserving jams and vegetables. So that'll be great. Ooh, a cheese maker. I can't wait to do that. Maybe we'll make some Gouda. Make that good Gouda. <laughs> All right, brothers and sisters, that's going to be enough out of me here. Make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe as well. And I'll see you all next time. Hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.